The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. The boys are back in the harbour and Milan is desperately trying to catch kingfish once again. We like to set ourselves challenges and the first challenge out of the new boat was to catch a kingfish in the harbour. And if you've ever hunted kingies in the harbour you'll understand that it doesn't always go to plan. So we went out fishing this morning, launched at first light, cruised around the harbour a bit and if I'm to cut a long story short we caught nothing. So far we've done three days, and in three days Milan's had four live baits eaten and hasn't hooked anything. And he's getting a bit of grief from NATO, so he really, really wants to catch a kingfish. And whoa, are you going to catch a fish today or what? <laughs> I won't answer that question, I'm going to try. The plan was to come cruising up along the flats and use the drone to spot fish, and I did exactly that. Just found a big school of bait fish up in the shallows and had a single kingfish cruising around and amongst the bait. It was like something off David Attenborough. It was just awesome to see those fish parting around that kingfish and him swimming in amongst them, trying to get right up and smash one. In the end, Milan got a cast right to the fish, followed the stick bait for a little bit, but he ended up spooking off and I couldn't keep up with him with the drone, but it was just epic. So the plan is to go hunt the shallows with a stick bait rod, get up onto the flats and see if we can find another kingfish. But as that tide turns, at the moment we've got an incoming, when the tide turns and we start going out, we're gonna shoot down the other end and set up an ambush with some burley on the end of the channel and hope that all the fish that we're hunting now up on the flats are moving that way out of here. So yeah, yet again, the boys are in the harbour. Milan wants to catch kingfish. Game on. See how good a fisherman you are, Melian, and catch that bit of rubbish. Oh, you're showing off now. First pop. Wish you were like that on Kingfish. <laughs> one for one. We should have four pieces of rubbish in the boat, bro. Melian's a little bit fragile at the moment. Just got to be nice to him. <laughs> it's hard. Cool pieces of structure from fishing, eh? Dead trees in the water. Oh, the tree, right on the tree. Oh, he like stuffs up oh, his Oh, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Kingy fish, I hope you can see that because it looks real good. Oh, he's coming for it, he's coming. He ate it! it. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh dude. He's going to go mental <laughs> he's soon. He's going to go crazy soon. He's going to realise that he's hooked. It's a decent sized fish, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, Dude. pulled the back treble out. Oh. And that's why you put new split rings in. I just go from bad luck to bad luck to bad luck and some more bad luck. <laughs> no, actually, that wasn't even funny. <laughs> I, even got that told that, I even got told that had reinforced split rings and trebles in it. Oh. Got given that, Laura. Be the last time I let him fish with a lure someone gave him without inspecting it first. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. Two of them. Two more kingfish. Oh, Milan, come on. Please get this one. You've got to catch one, man. Come on. Just catch one, would you? Oh, I think that lure might be too big if you've got a smaller stick, mate. Oh, they're only little fish. I oh, know that back one's a bit bigger than the front one. I'll have any fish right now, catch anything. God, I wish I had my fly rod. Something smaller, me, Lenny. Got something smaller? Grimmy? Grimmy? Oh, I've got to keep on fishing for the moment. <laughs> yeah, but they've already seen that lure. There's no point showing them the same lure.
he might not be able to catch kingfish, but he sure can catch kawai. <laughs> we should just make a kawai show with you in at Milan. How to catch kawai Milan styles. I hope not. Man, there's some piper at the back of the boat. Oh, that is a big, that's a massive piper. Hand lining in the huge piper fish. Whoa. Go Milan. Okay, now I've got to get him out of the light gauge hook. Piper at the back of the boat. I can see how many piper are at the back of the boat. We now have a live piper, a live kawai, and an awesome little stick bait set up ready to go. <laughs> come on, boys, come on. Paddle crab just paddling on through. That's pretty cool. Bronzy's up now. Whoa, now we've got a bronzy down the burly trail. You reckon that's a white? They call it for a white, but it comes right at the back of the boat. Why aren't your live bait's gonna get smashed if it... I don't wanna hook a white. See if it's a white or a bronzy, can't have a look. No, nah, it's a big bronzy. Look at that size, that's a great white. It is a great Here's white. A Holy camera. crap. Camera. Holy crap, that's a great white. <laughs> can't talk. I Watch can't even on. talk. We just seen a great white. We just had a great white, like right there. I put the drone up, but by the time I got the drone organized and down the back, I couldn't see him. And if he was out there pretty much anywhere, I could have seen him like 50 meters out before the drop off. All of this flat, so he gapped it. Hopefully he's coming back. Great white shark in the harbour. Not unheard of, but still very, very, very cool to see yourself. Watch out, Mr. Eagle Ray. There's a great white around you. are in trouble, man. If we didn't already have enough in the water, Milan's getting out his cast net to put some piper in the freezer. You know what's going to happen, eh? It's going to get fully tangled up. But and can then... you get the... Oh, no, it's the anchor. <laughs> and then that's going to happen. There's a big kingy, and we're going to lose it. I don't know quite how he did it, even though I seen him did it. He threw a cast net off the back of the boat with three live baits in the water and caught 10 pipe from one cast. How many burlies have we got left? Four. Four. Sorry, four for tomorrow, I reckon. Four for tomorrow. Yeah. Last one today. Wow. <laughs> Maybe. Milan has a little bit of a catastrophe. <laughs> Reels up the wrong way. And if you look over here, his live bait line's going around the anchor, and then coming out this side. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty funny, eh? Around the pump. Yeah, on video, and then and then I hooked the kingfish, and then I straightened my straightened my split ring, and I lost it. Yeah. Dad, dad can't fish very well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I can't do it bro, I think it's the new boat, I got too much excitement mojo going down. Milan's awesome catch for the day, there you go man, you can take that home if you want. Looks like a trophy, <laughs> took something shitty out of the water, how cool is that? <laughs> I dragged all the time now, probably hooked a fish and would have lost that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Game over Milan, what have you got to say for yourself? I suppose people tell you that you, it's the little things that catch you fish, and it's true. Like today, I took someone's advice that they put good split rings on their stick bait that they gave me, but in reality, they weren't good split rings, and I lost the fish because I just didn't do something. The little things are what makes you catch lots of big fish, so do the little things right. Morning time. Morning brother. Once again staying at Milan's Batch. Once again at 4am in the morning it is breakfast before a day on the water catching kingfish is about to commence. Catching kawai. <laughs> <laughs> Milan's good at catching kawai, but he's really, really good at letting all the kingfish go. Are you ready yet? Yeah. Always check your bungs. Cap <laughs> check, know your boat. <laughs>
Look at that disco lights going. Disco lights. <laughs> the boys have got disco lights. <laughs> Good morning. Mr. Hummingbird. New spot, anchors deployed. The day is dawning. Today is starting much like every other fishing day ever known to Milan. Set a burly trail. <laughs> Set a burly trail. Man, that poker you caught yesterday was big. It's going back out as a dead bait. Can't see why that would go wrong. Can't see anything. So. Two dead pipers sitting in the current while we're trying to catch a car away for live bait. Insane sunrise today. The only thing we've got on our burly trail at the moment is birds. It's not a good thing considering everywhere else we've put burly in the water in the last two weeks we've had car white instantly. Missioning off to get some live baits and then we're coming back. Insanely good weather today. It's glass out. Change of plans, we just dropped the anchor where we were yesterday where we seen the great white, multiple kingfish, eagle rays, kawai and piper. And it's so quiet and so, so, so very beautiful. Did I tell you I love my new casting platform? What's going down? Gotta find my sabiki rigs. Sabikis. Piper time. Yep, the pipers. Nice. The little kingy hanging around. Just spotted him with the drone. Milan's put a little piper on. See if he can get him. Another paddle crab going past the boat. Man, Snapper just must absolutely love smashing them. It's all pretty quiet in the harbour today. It's a struggle just to catch a bait. We've only got one live piper. Haven't caught a single kawai. It's amazing how one day can be so different to the next. Whoa! What was it? All the little um, pipers jump. Holy moly! They're either little piper or some other type of bait fish. Just going nuts. Hey! What you pop what you reckon that a shark just ate your piper? Just ate my piper. What a bronzy? No, great white! The great white! Oh dude! He's coming at the boat. What do we what do we do? <laughs> no. You reckon that was that white shark? I don't know. I didn't see a sh I didn't see a fin. I don't know if it's a bronzy or that great white or a tote. A tote. Well, should I put the should I put the drone up? Oh, oh gone. There it is. So that was going to always going to happen, wasn't yep. it? Yeah. There it is. What yeah, is it? I see it. It's coming straight at the boat. Turns out to be like a 95 kilo kingfish. It's right in front of the boat, dude. Here it is. It's, it's a, a Marco shark. It's a little Marco. God, the harbour is just chock a block full of sharks at the moment. No, it's a great white. It's another great white. It's a lot smaller than the one yep. that we seen yesterday, it's though, a great eh? White. Ate my cultured uh, piper at the back of the boat. I thought that was the biggest kingfish when I saw it in the water. <laughs> Whoa! We were just sitting there, all was quiet. I just said that nothing was happening. And then, wah boosh! A little great white shark came in and hammered. Was it a dead piper or a live piper? Dead piper. Hammered a dead piper off the surface. Holy crap! And that wasn't the one, it wasn't the great white that we seen yesterday because that one was only half the size. 
Wow. <laughs> I thought that was like a, a, like a 30, 40 kilo kingfish. Some kahawais have finally turned up in the burley trail. Milan's little pipe is getting picked on. But that's okay. A couple of live kahawais coming up. Kingfish as well. How big is a kingfish? Oh, nice. I got a kahawai. Nice. He's right behind the boat now. <laughs> it's only little, but. Milan needs a bit of practice. Did he eat it? Eat it, here he comes. Oh, did he eat it? He did eat it. <laughs> did you lose that one as well? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh man, I'm starting to feel for you. We launched the boat at 5 a.m. this morning and it's taken till now, 8 o'clock, to get two live baits in the water swimming. It's amazing how the days can change from one to the next. Yesterday we caught bait instantly and could have caught bait at any time over the day. And today's taken two, three hours to catch a couple of live baits. Not only have we got those two live baits, but Milan's also got a dead piper rigged, ready to go. We have between now and 10 o'clock, two hours. Two hours of fishing to catch a kingfish before we've got to be off the water. Can Milan do it? Last one. Letting it run down to the wire yet again. I'd have to say I am absolutely loving having a drone. Thank you, Brother Dane. Your drone is awesome. Every time it gets a little bit quiet, a little bit uh, what to do, I put the drone up and go for a little mission and literally I've been using it to look for fish. I just flew up the harbour, checked a half a dozen marker poles to see if they've got kingies on it. Flew around over the flats, see if I could find sharks and stuff. And then I was flying the drone back to the boat just before, and I was like, what is that right smack bang in the middle of the channel that just didn't look right? And I start descending onto it to realize that it's a massive school of huge kawaii just mulling around right smack bang in the middle of the channel. Long story short, as I was descending down, I was like, oh, come on, there's got to be a massive kingy with them. But that's the great thing with the drone. I got to have a real good look at that school of fish, and I didn't see a kingfish, so we'll just let them be. And then flew back to the boat. I don't think that I want to give Dane his drone back. <laughs> Maybe he can borrow it when he wants to. <laughs> We've got about half an hour left, half an hour before we've got to head back to the ramp. And I think I will yet again be using that drone to try and get some running shots of the boat. I tried to get some running shots of the boat on the first day that I used the drone, but I just wasn't good enough on the controls and I've had a bit of practice over the last couple of days. So hopefully on the way back this time round, I can get some awesome running shots of the boat. After, this trip I don't know if we really want to be back in the harbour doing the same thing that we've done the last couple of weeks even though there's a heap of fish in the harbour and they're here to be caught and maybe we should just try and catch them but I'm pretty keen to get out on the boat and do some overnight missions so I think the next time round we'll be in Coromandel staying overnight on the boat with Roger's tent having a ton of fun I think NATO might even try and catch a snapper and Milan will be trying to catch kingfish again, I'm sure. See you next time. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.